Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be playing Secret Admirer because I'm gonna show you how to make a pop-up card that is gonna be perfect. You can do over the weekend with your kids. We have Valentine's Day coming up on Monday. It's really, really easy. You only need a few supplies. You're gonna want some card stock. I'm actually using pre-made cards and you can do that or you can just use some cardstock. For the inside, I didn't have the color I wanted, so I am using cardstock. Um, some stickers. I just grabbed some stickers here. I thought I was going to use this paper, but I've decided not to. <laughs> some glue and some scissors. So these are decorative scissors. These are, I thought these were Fiskars because I do have some Fiskars, but these are not. You can tell I have like way too many scissors. <laughs> Anyway, that's about all you need and some glue. Now you can use like regular Elmer's glue, like glue stick. I have not an ounce of patience, so I'm going to be using my glue gun. So the first thing I want to do is, let's see here. So this is going to be the outside of my card. I want the outside to be black and then I want the inside to be pink. So what I'm going to do is lay this one on top of here. And I'm just going to trace around this real quick just so I have roughly the same size. And then I'm going to grab a pair of decorative edging scissors. And we're going to cut right on the inside of that. And you just want to make sure you line up your scissors so that you have a nice clean decorative border. There we go. Okay. Set this aside. So this is going to be the inside. So the outside is black. And then the inside is going to be pink with a white border. So then I'm going to make a little heart here. And I'm going to use another pair of decorative scissors. Or do I want to use white? Because I can flip this both ways. I think I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use white. So I'm actually going to flip this. So this part will be my heart. All right, so now I'm just gonna cut out a heart. And again, I wanna be kind of careful that I'm lining up the pattern here so it somewhat looks <laughs> nice. Okay, let's open it up and see what it looks like. That's a pretty decent heart, I guess. <laughs> and then, actually, you know what? Let's make that a little bit, let's make that a little bit smaller. I want to make this a little bit more pointed too. I want to make sure it fits inside of there a little bit easier. There, that's better. So again, I think I'm going to do the white on this side. And I just grabbed some stickers. I couldn't decide which ones I was going to use. So I think I've decided to go with these here because they match the pink. And then... So I'm going to put this right in the middle. And these are really thin stickers, which is good because we're going to have to fold this in half as well. And let's get a couple of these balloons. Put them right here. You know, when I was growing up, Valentine's really was one of my favorite holidays because I loved to decorate and make a little shoe box, you know, when you decorated it so you could put all your Valentines in there. I always got so excited. And of course, I could not wait to get home to see if the boy I had a crush on what he wrote on my Valentine. <laughs> Usually nothing. <laughs> oh, look how cute that is. Little cloud with some little hearts. There we go. And of course, we wanted to say something. So I think I'm going to put I love you. There we go. Oh, you know what I did? I should have put these in the center. I'm not being very smart today. You got to pull these back off. <laughs> you guys are going to laugh. Because we have to cut the outside. I totally forgot what I was doing here. So, I saw this on Martha Stewart a long time ago. And so, I'm not quite sure I remember what I'm doing. <laughs> We're going to take our regular scissors. Okay, so we have our card here. We have our insert that's going to be our background. And then we have the heart, which is going to be the part that pops up. So we did a decorative border on the outside. And now I'm just going to cut right along the inside. So we're kind of cutting another heart 
all the way down to about, I don't know, half an inch or so away from the bottom. There we go. Oops, we're going to do the white side, which will be cute because when it pops up, there'll be black on the back. All right. So what I want to do is make sure all my stickers fit inside of this heart. There we go. All right. I'm going to put my little clouds back over here. And you could overlap these stickers too. Matter of fact, I think I will. I think I'll just lap, overlap this one right on top of that one. Them right there. There we go. All right. So what I want to do is fold this. And I'm just going to kind of run my scissors across here just to make sure it's got a nice flat fold. And then I'm going to fold it the other way and I'm going to do the same thing. All right. Now, all right, so our glue should be warmed up here. I'm going to take my glue gun. And again, you can just use regular old glue for this. But I have not even an ounce of patience. Oh, gosh, look at that. It turned it purple. The heat turned the paper purple. Is it going to fade back? Or is it going to stay purple? That's interesting. I think it's fading. Huh. I don't know. Well, it can just be a design. <laughs> and then, so on this part, we just want to go along the edge, right like that, with our glue. You can also use something like rubber cement. I just like things to dry. I, I am like an instant gratification person. <laughs> okay, so we're going to glue down the outside there. And then, oh, one thing I forgot, we're supposed to bend these little pieces right here, but I think we can make it work. So what you do is, when you fold this up, I'm a little stiff there, this folds this way. And I'm going to do the same thing again, just making sure I got a really nice fold. There we go. So now all we need to do, let's make sure it works though, we're going to... Yay, look how cute. And then I've decided I've got these little kind of wooden stickers here that are three-dimensional. I like them. They kind of match the color there. So I'm going to do, let's put one in the middle. And then we'll put one up top. And we'll put one down below. And of course, I could have used these stickers, but I really like the three-dimensional look. And I think I'm even going to add something else to that. I'm going to add, I love lots of colors, so I'm going to add this right to the center one. Look how cute that is. Super, super cute. So I hope that all made sense. <laughs> like I said, I kind of forgot what I was doing there for a second. It's been a while since I made one. But let me see if you guys can see it that way. So there's the front, and there it is, opening it up. So really, really easy. Again, something you can do with the kids. And another thing I got coming up you can do with the kids is a candy bouquet that we're going to be doing tomorrow. Super, super easy. So you're going to stay tuned for that. And I thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.